Right, hi guys. In this video I'm going to explain a little bit about mic wiring. Now the particular rig that I'm talking about today is the uh, Superstar 9900. And that's my one, okay. I'm going to explain how to wire virtually any microphone uh, to it. Now this diagram here is just of a random four pin mic and this one here is a six pin and we're going to say that that's the 9900 uh, microphone socket. Now that is from the solder side of the plug. In other words from this side. Now if you, I don't know if you can look See that hole in the middle? What I've done on this one is actually push that centre pin out. So pin 6 is not going to be used at all. Now on my rig, I checked it today, it's about 8 volts out of that one. So you want to avoid that like the plague because you can blow your rig up. You don't want 8 volts coming out of that pin and then inadvertently going back in to one of the other pins and damaging your radio. Now on this radio, the mic wiring is exactly the same, but on the centre pin of that you get 12 volts out. Okay, so the 18900 and the 9900, the mics are interchangeable. Okay, right, so equipment that you're gonna need. Some precision screwdrivers, A multimeter, preferably with a, like a diode test with a, a like a little bleep inside it, and a soldering iron. But I don't know whether I'm going to show you any soldering today. This is about how to work out how to get the right wire on the right pin. If you've got a microphone, say like this one, kicking about. This one's got a four pin plug on it. I'll explain to you how to work out the wiring from a random mic so you can wire it straight to your, your uh, 9900 uh, rig rather than be sort of tied to uh, the same mic. Uh, I think that about covers the equipment now. What I'd like you to do is have a look at this diagram. Now just remember this is from this side of the plug. Pin 1 is audio. Pin 2 is not used. Pin 3 is TX. Pin 4 is up and down but we won't be using that one. Pin 5 is common. And pin 6 is the 8 volt out and on my one I've pushed the centre out like many other people do. Okay let's just set the camera up and I'll uh, try and show you how to work out the mic wiring of the plug from any random rig and how to sort of work out how to put what wire where. Okay. Right. Okay guys first things first We'll take this four pin mic socket apart so we can see the wires on the back of the plug. You don't necessarily have to do that. But for the purpose of the video I'm going to do it so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Excuse my other camera going into standby. Oh my god. Soldering on that is just a little bit on the rough side. Okay. Just shut the door in. Just 
just eyeballing these. This is like an aftermarket mic lead, but I'm sure we can work out what's what. Okay, already I've found the TX wire. Now I happen to know that this, I think, is wired Uniden. I don't know whether you can see it, this black wire here we're going to call common. So if you were going to be wiring this particular mic, the way it's wired to the 9900, you would write down that the black wire is common. Okay. Let's just find that TX wire again. I'm pressing the microphone down, it's transmitting. So I now know that the wire, the TX wire, is the orange wire. So I've got a pen here somewhere. There you go. So black equals common. Orange equals TX. Now there's only other one, one wire on it, and that's a white wire. So white equals audio. This red wire not using. Right, hi guys, here we are back on the other camera. Now this is the mic. It's a Galaxy Power Echo mic, I've never ever used it. And as you would have seen, if you've followed the video, I've just wired it up to the 9900. Using just three wires. The white, the orange, and the black and I can't really emphasize enough you know the center pin I literally just pushed it out the middle because that is what you call the hot wire and on this one as I said 8 volts come out of it you don't need that pin so do away with it so let me just recap with you in case you're still unclear first job is to find your common normally particularly on the older mics the common is the wire with no rubber around it so straight away you've got that put your meter on diode test continuity or whatever so when you get a circuit or touch the probes together you get the signal okay put one probe in your common pin and then work your way around the back of the plug while keying the mic until it, it, you get the circuit, you know, your buzzer goes off. Or if you've rigged up the battery and a light, the light will come on. Let go of the mic, circuit's broken, key the mic, the circuit's made again. You, your light comes on, all your buzzer goes off. So straight away, you know that the other wire to your common is your TX. And then you can write that down. So you've got, uh, for, in particular for the 9900, 
you found your TXY, you found your common, you only need the audio. Now you will have to play about with that. Sometimes just using pure logic will tell you. For example, if I did a check on this one, uh, you know, I can quickly work out uh, what one's common, what one's the TX. The other wire has got to be audio. So, using logic, you know, there's no sort of test for that. On some of the earlier mics, it was quite easy to find the audio wire because the screen would blatantly be sort of encapsulating it. So that's worth remembering. So there you go guys, I don't know really what else I can do to sort of help you along in your mic wiring journey. But it's dead easy. And like I say, if you've not made notes during this video, do make some. The next time you come to wire up a mic, it, it might all start coming together so you've got a, a better understanding of exactly what you're doing <coughs> and what your multimeter's telling you. Right, here you go guys. There's the uh, mic. Just plug it into the rig. I've yet to fit the plug back on, but obviously I will do. Let's go on to uh, sideband. I'm not really sure what will happen here. There you go, mic works a treat. Now, that is transmitting into a dummy load, so it's not like anyone's going to... Uh, be uh, hearing that so yeah jobs are good and it all worked uh, just remember while you, you're going around your your plug find your common <clears throat> now that interacts with two other wires one is your RX wire and you know when you've found that because you'll touch one probe on your common and one of the other wires you may well get a circuit without keying the mic. Now the 9900 receives without that wire. As you can see there's no mic in it. But if you've got a rig that needs that wire using then uh, that's self-explanatory. When you go between common and another wire and you key your mic like so, when you get your circuit that other wire is your TX, your audio wire sometimes is yellow, sometimes is white, but you'll have to find that on your own. If you've got one of the older style mic leads where the screen is sort of just a bare wire, if you sort of look back into the into here, the screen should encapsulate your audio wire. You can't always see, it's not always blatantly obvious, but I'm sure you'll work that out. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. I hope this little mic wiring tutorial has helped. And, you know, again, if you've got any problems, you know, don't be shy, just ask.